up YouTube? It's Mr. Ferguson here again. Thank you so much for stopping by the channel again. I appreciate your time. Um, real quick guys, just want to jump right into the video. Nothing big to really go over today. Um, just wanted to, to give a talk to you all. Um, I'm getting pretty excited about the fall. Um, getting pretty excited about planting that cool blue that's right down there in my shed. Um, so the time is rolling around. We're almost into September here. Um, I will walk over here to the front yard and give you a little update on the glyphosate we put down to kill sections of the front yard. Um, in the backyard, eh, there's nothing, there's no new real update back here. It's still a little thin. Um, the D thatch, I did end up putting down the D thatch, guys. Um, didn't notice anything at all. Um, I didn't notice that some of the thatch disappeared. I've still got that layer of dead grass on top. So uh, my plan for the next couple weeks is to get a rake and begin to rake these sections, prepare it for what's coming with the aerating and the seeding coming up here in the fall. So anyways, I'm getting that itchy, exciting, antsy feeling of, um, of getting ready to aerate and plant and, and water and get that new seed. I'm getting excited. Um, as I mentioned, you know, a few videos back, I've kind of lost the, the desire to do yard work. It's been, it gets so hot here in North Carolina, 99 degrees. We had heat indexes over a hundred this past summer. Um, a lot of my grass had died off just because I was away and watering couldn't take place. Um, so it can, it can frustrate you um, for sure. And it, I'm getting excited. It's time to get, get some lime. It's time to get some of the peat moss I'm gonna need to cover some of the bare areas. Um, I've got the seed, I've got the Green County Starter um, um, liquid fertilizer. I may go with the Carbon X Starter Fert. I do have some regular Carbon X on the way. Um, I actually pulled that up um, on Pete's website, GCI Turf, um, which by the way, I've got another little something that I ordered from Pete's website that I wanna show you guys and encourage you to purchase if you can, um, but I'll wait until that arrives and show you. Um, so anyways, but anyways, just wanted to relay to you guys, I'm getting that itch, man. I'm getting, I'm getting that feeling, that excitement about, you know, seeing what I've seen back here. It's been kind of a letdown recently, but I was just thinking this the other day when I was mowing, I was thinking to myself, you know, where was I this, where am I this year in comparison to last year? Last year, I had nothing but dirt and some weeds about this time. And I was getting ready to plant for the first time, you know, really trying to get good grass seed to grow. Um, so I was, you know, thinking in my mind, well, let's compare to last year, we're already ahead of the game, if you will. I've got established fescue grass right here already, though it's thin in some areas where grass has been killed off by the sun, I'm in a much better situation than I was last year. So though it can be discouraging that the heat did kill off some of my fescue, um, I'm, I have to remember where I was last year in comparison to now, and that kind of puts to, puts to bed some of that discouragement or that stuff that I feel on the inside about how, oh, you didn't really. I accomplished my goal from last year 110%. Um, having nothing back here, guys, to planning um, GCI, turf type tall fescue, and having it look gorgeous, having neighbors, compliments, people coming up saying, man, what did you do? How's it look so great? The striping is every, it felt great. And uh, once you do it and you're successful, um, you wanna continue to have a nice looking yard. And I, I wanna do that as well. This year, maybe I'll relent a little bit and let the kids play in it more because I'll tell you, I have been a grass Nazi um, ever since, um, September of last year. They, they didn't run through it. They didn't walk through it. It would stay off the grass. So I may relent, let them play in it a little more and see how does the grass take that um, with, with kids. I know I'm babbling. Again, thank you guys for stopping by. This video was just to touch base with you all, to talk with you all. Um, there is, I did want to mention, Alan Hain did just put out a new PDF all about planting grass for the fall step-by-step step, um, for existing yards and it is for cool season grass so if you're a, a bermuda person this will not help you um, i think he does mention something about warm season grasses in there but it's a free pdf go to his last video um if, if, depending on when you're watching this it should be somewhere around august 21st or 2nd um 
I believe. Don't quote me on that. Go check that out. Free download. Can't hurt. Go get it. Um, so we'll walk out here to the front yard. We'll look real quick at just what uh, the bare areas, the glyphosate I put down, what it's doing, and uh, we'll call it a day. Thank you guys again. All right, ladies and gentlemen. So we'll go by the loud AC. And as you can see, it's pretty brown up there. Um, I did cut just uh, Friday morning. So yard is looking decent. Um, like I said, there's some thin areas, but this is what we're looking at with the area that we're killing off with glyphosate. Um, this is what we got. Not bad. Um, I mean, it's brown. So I'm just kind of waiting on most of it to die the best that it will, you know, and seeing if I need to do clearly. I Now I put down, the second time I sprayed this, I put down a ton of glyphosate. So I'm hoping to the good Lord, I don't have to um, spray this a third time, but you gotta do what you gotta do. But that's what it's looking like. And there's the gutter area and then this section right here. So I need to get out here, begin to slowly, I'm not gonna try to rake it all one day before I seed, but then there's also areas like over here that needs to be raked up in my mind just to expose some of the bare spots. But remember, if you're new to what in the world are we looking at right here, this is where all of the uh, Bermuda was really, really bad was in this section. So we just, I'm gonna do this section my plan is to aerate it all, put down the seed. Clearly we're gonna do starter fert. We'll do some RGS, we'll do some tenacity, and we'll put peat moss over this. So some of those big bags of uh, peat moss from Home Depot. So that's the plan there. I did not kill anything off with glyphosate here. This is just sun damage. So this was the two weeks I was going to Florida, going to the beach. Um, this is what happened, it killed off. This was all GCI seed. And clearly this little section, because you can see right about right here is where the property line is. So this section from driveway to there, it's a little section here. So it's very difficult to water. Most of the time it's done by hand. Um, but yep, got to rake all this up, redo this area. Here's our other section over here. So this is dying off pretty well. And this was dethatched. So I did put dethatch on top of all of this, but as I mentioned, I've not seen a lot of the dethatch do anything personally, so hopefully it is um, underneath the surface. Maybe it is eating away some of this thatch, but then you can see the section that goes down the property line and up ahead. So these are the sections we've glyphosate, and that's really what it's looking like. So it's browning up. Let's see if I can still do this. This section was actually, I can't even pull it up. You could, you see under there, it's still, there's concrete under there. A lot of this had grown over the concrete. I'm gonna have to figure out where the concrete is because if you look over here, you go down the line, you can see it was actually growing out over top of the concrete. I have no idea. Until I killed it, it was still looking nice and green. But anyways, um, that's what we're working with. So those are the uh, glyphosate sections. Thank you guys for stopping by yet again. I appreciate um, the support, the views, the likes, all those good things. Um, like I said, I've got that itch feeling. You know, I could be doing some of the biostimulants right now and putting that down. Um, I really don't want to waste them because I don't want to spend more money to buy more of them. Um, I'm just going to hold off. I'm trying to hold off. Um, if anything, it'll be some weed killing. Uh, but I'm just waiting until mid-September, mid to late September to do the air rating with the neighbor. And we're going to get this party going and get some seed going. So I'm getting that anxious feeling. I'm ready, trying to do everything to prep for that, get things in, materials, things of that nature. So um, I appreciate you guys watching this video. I'm sorry it's not one of the most eventful ones. But uh, again, let me know how you guys are doing, where you're at with your lawn, what you plan. I know some of you have commented and talked about you may wipe out sections of your yard and redo some. Uh, let me know if that's still your plan. Um, how's your summer been? Are you surviving in 2020? Um, hopefully that you are out there. Um, and again, uh, just thanks so much guys for watching and we'll uh, keep you updated on what we're doing here. Lots of things to come. So hopefully uh, it'll be a success this year like it was last year. 
looking forward to some pretty grass uh, here for the fall and the quote North Carolina winter, which is like a cool fall. Um, but I'm anxious to get some pretty grass growing. So real excited. So uh, thank you guys again for stopping by. Hope you guys have a great day.